Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Nikhila Bachu, consultant neurophysician at Wellness Hospitals. So today we are going to discuss about the effect of drugs on the central nervous system. So drugs can have a devastating effect on the brain and nerves. So today most commonly used illicit drug is marijuana. Marijuana contains a compound called 9-tetrahydrocannabinol. So when someone abuses marijuana, what it does is it affects their thinking capacity, it decreases memory, it affects their mood and these are just the short-term side effects. Whereas the long-term side effects include difficulties in learning, sleep disturbances and also it can cause permanent loss of IQ which may not be recovered even with the complete abstinence. So our uh, National Institute of Drugs Association has also warned that when people start to use marijuana before 18 years of age, they have an extreme addictive potential which is up to 4 to 7 times high when compared to people above aged 18 years. So we also have other group of drugs like uh, heroin and uh, prescription opioid drugs like uh, codeine, oxcodeine, fentanyl. These have extremely addictive potential drugs. So when a person abuses these regularly, their tolerance towards the drugs increases. And so gradually they start to take large quantities of the drugs, which may result in convulsions, coma and also death. And other group of drugs which are widely used are uh, cocaine and methamphetamine. These belong to a group of drugs called stimulants. So when a person takes these stimulant drugs, it causes an initial high during which the person tends to have high blood pressures, high temperatures, followed by a crash where the person becomes extremely fatigued, depressed and he tends to have hallucinations and also has uh, suicidal ideations. So there are also other kind of drugs called uh, ketamine and PCP which are called as hallucinogens. So when person abuses these drugs, he tends to have drug-induced psychosis, auditory hallucinations and visual hallucinations. So there are also reports that on regular use of cocaine and other drugs, it tends to affect in the form of Parkinson's disease and also intracranial beats.